it into the flat side. I can't believe I got the coverage to finally go get life suction. When I was broke, I couldn't go shopping. Now I just bought on the stylus. Hey, that means it's on me, everything falling. Hey babes, so today is basically 24 hours until my liposuction procedure. This is crazy. I cannot believe that I'm about to go do this. Um, but yeah, so right now I'm like jolly. Da -da -da. I can't wait to see how I'm gonna end up looking after the surgery and one day post op. That's crazy. So right now I feel pretty relaxed. Um, I'm trying not to worry myself. I've been taking like CBD for anxiety melatonin to help me sleep and i've been taking a lot of um like my hill fats vitamins and stuff so i feel pretty good right now I, i'm not really that worried right now but i feel like tomorrow i really did do a lot of research to bring myself to this point um and i honestly wouldn't put myself in a predicament that i didn't feel comfortable and safe doing because it was never that serious like i'm not doing all of that like for what like honestly i feel like i'm making a good decision i trust my doctor he's board certified and i do feel like i'm gonna be in great hands and when i say board certified he's a double board certified plastic surgeon and i will be getting my surgery performed awake which also gives me a peace of mind and it's going to be done in an accredited facility in a proper operating room with proper staff proper trained nurses like it's not a hole in the wall it's not nobody random like everybody is licensed qualified and this place has been around for 70 years and they literally have not had anything go wrong with surgery so i'm just trusting god and yeah i trust my doctor so tomorrow i might have more anxiety but as far as right now it's not the day so i'm just taking every day one step at a time but yeah, I'm also excited, like, because I do not want to have no back rolls. I don't want this fupa, like, it could go. But I did wake up today, though, and it was good because I was 159. So I told you guys in my last video that getting as close to your go weight is so important. So, you know, waking up, like, in the 150s was lit because my go weight has always been 150. So um i'm nine pounds away from that so just imagine what lipo with good dieting my massages and exercise and hiring a trainer could do or just working out by myself like i should be at 150 and also i showed you guys everything that i already bought and i'm pretty much really prepared for the surgery um as far as like having supplies goes and mentally you know yeah but the pain i don't know how the pain is gonna be so for me that's my biggest fear right now obviously you know having pain because i do not have a good pain tolerance and i just don't know what that shit felt like for real so yeah so i just wanted to give y'all update the next time y'all see me will be tomorrow well the next time i see i'm gonna actually show y'all some of the stuff like things that i did to prepare you know for tomorrow but um then y'all gonna see me i'll bring y'all with me like the tomorrow the morning of my surgery doing my surgery so this is one day post-op I mean, one day pre-op. This is one day pre-op. Then you'll see me tomorrow. Then when, you know, then I'll get this video up. But yeah, make sure you give this video a like. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you post notifications on to all. And I'm bringing y'all with me on this journey. Okay, guys. So by my bed, I needed to do something convenient because, you know, you're going to be, you're obviously not going to be on bed rest because you have to move to get your blood flowing. But I just wanted everything kind of accessible to me. So a lot of my supplies, I do have it right here on my nail table i was practicing nails but the table came in handy because it could hold all my stuff so i have all my pain medicines that was prescribed i have my arnicare tablets i have essential oils my gauze pads a lot of the stuff that i said you know that i was going to be using is all right here right next hey, to my so it is the morning of my surgery my surgeon just called me so that made me feel so good. He called me like, hi, how are you feeling? Don't worry, you are in great hands. I'm gonna take good care of you. I'm gonna take my time. I'm gonna go slow. I'm gonna scope your body. Sis, you are in good hands. Do not worry, in Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> so I'm not worrying. Um, I trust my surgeon, I trust this facility. I trust my research, I trust my body, and I trust the Lord. God, please deliver me through this surgery with um, you know safety protection. I pray that I have a great, healthy, safe recovery and i'm gonna bring you guys with me on this journey right now i'm in a comfy robe i got on some crocs i got on my dior shades 
and I got a Louis bag closed on my medication and stuff. So I'm going in there looking like a baddie, and I'm gonna come out even better. So, all right, so I love y'all. Next, y'all gonna see me in the car. You know, I'm gonna bring y'all with me on this surgery journey. So I love you guys, and see y'all right now. They driving me, my sister in the cut. <laughs> Gang, gang, gang. They, they come in and support me. They, they're my support system and they're my nurses yeah. for the next 40 hours and, and beyond. And beyond because first of the hours, I'm going to really need their help, but they, you know, I'll get some more help. I'll be able to be a little more independent after that. And now we are on our way. Our way. See y'all there. I'm here. This is where I'm getting my surgery done at. Look at my nurses. Nah, <laughs> my gang, we here, we here, we here, we here girl. And when they dropping me in the lobby, and I'm in good hands. So yeah, I have two nice nurses. Oops. So yeah, little dyslexic moment there. So now I'm about to get you my marking. Wow, you look hot in those. Thank you. Should we you. get a picture? Yes. No. You can, you can Come. Come my nurses are so nice. Hi. Thank you. You're making she me feel great. so good. Thank you. I appreciate okay, it. Okay, I'll wind up in the room helping you too. So. Okay, yay. Will, will I be on Instagram? Um, I'm on my YouTube and my okay. Instagram. Oh, it's okay oh, wow. though. Yeah. <laughs> I know. So going out, changed up. Met with my doctor. Well, I met with my nurses. About to meet with my doctor. Oh. Oh my God. Let me put my mask on. Everybody said, she's so cute. Yes. Welcome to the office. Yes, thank you. I chose the best plastic surgeon uh. ever. I, I really did. Like, yeah. And so let's mark you up. Yeah. So you want to. So, you have nice skin. Thank you. Minimal, minimal amount of stretch marks, which yes. should not be a problem because they're minimal. Yes. But you know what? Mm -hmm. It's important to do the compression, which I know you know. Yes. So, yeah, I did all my research. Yes, because this is just the start of the yes, journey. The journey I know. involves compression, massages. Massages, yes. 20 massages books. Oh, I love it. Yes. So then I mark where the fat is starts. Yes. Do you have any kids? No. You are. Baby free. Yes, so baby that's... free. And I, I was 183. I got myself down to 159 because uh -huh. I know the importance of lipo. Like, I know it's not a weight loss procedure. Correct. And you have to put in work. So I got myself as close. I would. I wanted to be 150, so I'm 159 as of today. I tell you, this is, this is something that I always say, and it's mm -hmm. very, very real. I mean, mm -hmm. it's important to put it there on the video yes. because <laughs> what you're doing mm -hmm. is exactly right. You did your part, yes. you lost some of the weight, yeah. got you to a good point, mm -hmm. and then you do this step, the surgical step, and you change the game from a game of chasing a dream or yes. chasing a body to a game of maintaining exactly. a body. And that's such easier so to do. Yes, it's I so much not. stress free to just go to the gym or just eat healthy because you're maintaining what you already have in front of the mirror. Exactly. So now, my uh -huh. remember, I decided not to do a fat graph for uh -huh. BBL, um, but because I do truly believe that I could kind of like scope, you know, my body oh, yeah. without it. You have a bud. You're yes, not flat. You're not a like, table. Exactly. So I was hoping for like like a V cut, you know, kind of like getting this fat out. I like, I, I, I feel like that could give, and you know, pushing all yes, of this. Yes, yes, I don't disagree with it. any of that because you, I see the the shape. Yes. You're not flat, so we're just sculpting by taking fat out from here, your lower back. Yes, that's and a lot. The log handles. Yes. The local okay. anesthetic that we use for the mm -hmm. lipo, which is standard, but also we use. Uh, the Pronox. Yes, I know that would help. Oh my god, it's amazing. So yes. you breathe normally and Good. it makes you so relaxed. Yes. It's a combination of nitrox oxide and oxygen, 50-50. Okay. And it makes you relax, makes you not care, literally. literally. Okay. You're relaxed I'm to the so point happy. that you're like chilling. I and know. It makes it much more better. Makes the job, the local anesthetic even better. Okay, good. And I'm just so thankful that you offer this option because I know you're a plastic surgeon at the end of the day, so I know you believe in general anesthesia, anesthesia yeah, 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 yeah. and it's it's definitely safe, but it just terrifies me. 
I have this yeah, option. Stuff here, and then I'll see you inside. Right. Okay. Can I give you a thank you? <laughs> oh, of course. Oh, thank you. And we're ready, and yes. we're gonna snatch you okay. away. Thank you. It's like you just have the perfect energy. For oh, thank you, thank you. No, I love this. This yeah. is my passion. I could tell. I could tell. <laughs> love this transformation. Yes. Thank okay. you. Okay. I'll see. Okay, so I made it out of surgery. I made it to the flat side. Um, my nurses were so nice. My doctor was incredible. A little pain in some parts, but I'm really feeling good. This surgery went way better than I thought it would. Next step is the recovery pain, but I'm feeling good for now. And I'm so happy I decided to go through with this decision. Feeling good after my surgery. Getting both out. In a witch. Oh, I forgot my stuff. Okay, take your time. I'm getting rolled out, y'all. <laughs> so cute. Thank you. Ooh, I made it to the flat side. Because I got a good doctor and good stuff. It's lit. made it to the flat side. I can't believe I got the coverage to finally go get liposuction. Oh my God, I love it. I'm so excited. I love my results. My doctor snap. New body who this, y'all. Woo, I'm in the car. I'm feeling good. I don't feel froggy. I don't feel nothing. Like, I feel good. Okay, guys, so I'm back home. I'm in bed. I actually feel pretty good. Um, I honestly feel better than I thought I was going to feel even leaving the surgery place. Like, I had a whole different mindset. Like, and I did a wake lipo 360. So, during the procedure, there was some parts where it was pressure and it was painful, but... It was truthfully bearable and like I lived through it like it wasn't nothing that I couldn't bear like and, and my doctor he was so nice because when it did get to those parts he just eased up massaged it a little and was like we're gonna go back in real fast and it was like but it, I mean it really and truly wasn't bad and I cried during the procedure and it wasn't from pain it was just tears of joy because it's like a dream right babe but like I've been talking about this shit for like six years five six years and i just couldn't believe that i was on the fucking lipo suction table yeah. getting plastic surgery like what i just couldn't believe it like i literally was crying i was like i just been through so much and it's like i i've been through a lot and i've been through a lot like not liking my body not liking certain clothes and just always wanting a flat stomach no back rolls I work out hard, I eat healthy, and to just be there in the presence of a good surgeon, amazing nurses, I just got emotional and I was crying. So I'm just glad that it, it went better than I anticipated. Like I mentally prepared myself for the worst, like thinking, okay, this procedure's gonna hurt. I'm gonna be nervous as fuck and my nerves is gonna be in a wreck, but I really had a peace of mind and my surgeon is just amazing. Like his staff, they just made me feel comfortable from the time I was in the presence. I just felt like I don't have nothing to worry about. Like I honestly had zero fear when I finally got on the table. Like I would just wasn't even scared no more and I don't know why. And I'm a very anxious person that suffered from anxiety but i also had anxiety medication i had pain medication so that could have helped so anywho you know i got through the surgery it wasn't bad because it was awake i wasn't like completely knocked out it was some discomfort and a lot of people say that when they inject the anesthetic that's the most painful part but for me that felt like like when i got my lip injections the most painful part was when he lipo tender spots like by your your chest or like certain parts of your back rows and i've heard a lot of plastic surgeons say that lipo on back rows and barbels is uh, it's complicated a bit it's complex so those parts honestly did hurt but i got through it then i woke up well i was already up i got up from the anesthesia i felt like myself like i still feel like myself and I did not think that. Like, I thought I was going to be froggy. I thought, like, I was going to be, like, like, in the days. Like, and I honestly didn't like the thought of that either. I had a lot of different worries because I don't take medications. I don't get high. And it's like, I just feel like when I've ever been high recently, it's like I'll feel anxious or anxiety, like, being high. Like, being that high. So, I don't feel high. I literally feel like myself. I'm draining right now. 
I'm in some type of pain. The pain is like my fupa area because he went in. He took all that out. But that's the only part that's hurting right now. I got my sister, my babe taking care of me, my mom about to come. I'm feeling good about my decision so far. And again, the first 48 hours is supposed to be the most painful. So I'm thinking I'm going to get through this first 24 for sure pretty good. I don't want to talk too soon. <laughs> but ooh, when I laugh, see that hurt. But I, I'm doing good. I'm, I'm hey getting guys, through. so I am one day post out. I woke up feeling a like, lot better. I'm eating a uh, um, pineapple icy. You guys do know that pineapples help with swelling and inflammation. So, I just wanted to give you guys an update. So, this is one day post lipo 360. I did a wake lipo, as you guys know. I did have to get up like every hour to two hours to pee because i'm drinking so much water because drinking water is so important um i was drinking tea so i had to have my babe help me up out of bed like every hour i really i slept a good amount through the night but i would wake up to have to use the restroom which was good because i also got to walk around to walk so you guys do know that last night i passed out in the middle of my kitchen when my mom came to visit me it was so bad because that's like the worst thing I'm gonna could have saw was me passing out on the night I just had surgery. I was unconscious. They was screaming over me. I woke up and I was like, I'm okay, I'm okay. And I felt okay. They got me back in bed. I had police come, EMT come. It was crazy. But they checked my vitals and everything and I was good. So now it's the next day. I'm feeling a lot better. But guys, I just want to tell you that I was so scared to get lipo for so long like i was scared of the pain the thought uh it was really not as bad as i thought like the pain going in and even leaving surgery it wasn't that bad as you guys you guys are gonna see me i got so how i was acting or whatever so it wasn't that bad right now i'm eating a little grilled salmon with lettuce with you know salad greens lightly seasoned Mm -hmm. Yo, I got some beet juice here, organic beet juice. It's good for your blood, iron. Okay, guys, so this is fresh pressed carrot juice. It's carrots, pineapple, apple, and ginger. And I got pineapple and pineapple juice. You know, pineapples help the swelling. No sugar added, non GMO. I couldn't find organic, but this will do. Guys, okay, so this is me at day three post-op liposuction. As you guys can see, I'm looking better from the previous clips. Feeling better than the previous clips. Um, so today, this morning, I woke up in a lot less pain. Um, I definitely am taking like a lower pain med now. Um, I woke up, I had a lot of fluids. My babe helped me around. I went walking, I walked to the bathroom, walked around the house this morning. I got like a lot of liquids in my body, protein shake, oatmeal, carrot juice, just to get me going. Walked around, now I'm relaxing. I get my first lymphatic drainage massage today. So you guys do know those are super important after liposuction to help get the rest of the fluid out, help drain your lymphatic system, and it honestly helps your results and decrease fibrosis and you know other liposuction skin irregularities and things like that so i'm going to get my first one today um i got I, I did my makeup i did like some lashes i put some under eye concealer on I, I did okay so that's how i know i'm feeling better like the fact that i could do this today was good hey guys so this is day four post op I looked at it a lot. I put it together earlier today. I forgot to vlog on camera earlier today, but I did um, make like snaps and stuff. So it looks crazy and back here, but I just took a shower. So my antibacterial soap. Dove did come out with antibacterial body wash. I have some antiseptic cleaner. So that's gonna kill all bacteria that's on me. So anti antibacterial soap is so important so after that shower i felt so rejuvenated like the the truth is 
you know the first two to three days after liposuction you can't shower you do have an odor because it's like blood it's um the fluid from the anesthetic and it's just on this faha you literally have to use the bathroom standing up with a urinal so things definitely get smelly but when i was able to take my shower i did throw my faha in the washing machine for a quick wash it dried i was smelling back fresh and now i'm just to maintain myself stay clean brush my teeth you know the first two days was definitely the hygiene it wasn't there to be honest so I'm definitely feeling like myself smelling good, feeling good, and I'm showered up. Um, I'm feeling good. I had my second massage today. Um, they're closed on Saturdays and Sundays, so I will get my third massage on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And you know, you gotta do them consecutively for the best results. So I'm super swollen right now. Um, I'm about to go in my bedroom, but. Getting lit off a of zoo, a zoo. I'm outside in the zoo, the zoo. 